Now shifting focus to South Korea, where in a shocking turn of events, a South Korean leader of the opposition Democratic Party, Lee Jae-myung, has been stabbed in the neck at a news conference in Busan City. And according to the latest that has come in, the attacker has reportedly been arrested. In a dramatic turn of events, Lee was attacked by an unidentified man while touring the site of a proposed airport in Busan. And according to the reports, Lee was conscious post the attack and was immediately rushed to a local university hospital. Hospital. And unsettling video recordings reveal the attacker, who is a 56 year old guy and seen wearing a paper crown with Lee's name on it. And he could be seen coming forward to get Lee's signature. And the guy then jumped forward, stabbing Lee's neck at a distance of one centimeter. The attacker was quickly neutralized and taken into custody on the spot. Now, meanwhile, President Yoon suk Yeol has condemned the attack, calling it an unacceptable act, and his office expressed deep concern for Lee's well-being and instructed the best care for a speedy recovery. <laughs> Lee is the leader of the main opposition party of South Korea, which is the Democratic Party of Korea. And although he does not yet hold a position in the legislature of South Korea, it is widely anticipated that he will compete for a seat in the upcoming April general elections. And the 2022 presidential polls was the closest in South Korean history, with the current president, Yoon suk Yeol narrowly defeating Lee by a scant margin in the vote. Now, it is being predicted that he would be a major opposition leader to run in the 2027 presidential elections. And on the other hand, Lee has earlier been charged with corruption and breach of trust. And later, he denied these charges, calling them politically motivated. And he's still being investigated on a number of other cases linked to corruption while he was in office.